Sharla had parts of her face and neck ripped off, including both of her eyes, her lips, mid-face bone structure, as well as her nose. He absolutely mauled her. Travis, the chimpanzee, was born on October 21st, 1995 in Missouri. Oh. Are you calling your, your chimp Travis? No. I quite no. like it. I don't. Why does it always rain on me? <laughs> Is it because I'm a chimpanzee? <laughs> good, good. Yeah, now I would, actually. <laughs> His father was named Coco. don't know if that's See, that's name. way more yeah. chimpanzee name. That's worse. I do like uh, old man names on dogs. I do. Ralph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight in with that. I want a dog and I want to call it Buckley. Buckley. Yeah. Oh. He really likes in between us. Mm. Travis the Chimp was raised to be like one of the family and socialized like a much loved human baby. Um, he was quickly purchased by the Herald family. You don't purchase a baby. <laughs> loved so much and you've sold it instantly. <laughs> no, no, no. It, I think. Oh, was it? He re- was. I will get that for you. He, I think he was three weeks old when he was purchased. They're saying, they're saying he was raised that they bought it and then raised yeah. it. Oh, he just said it the wrong way around. Yeah. Yeah. He, Double checking. <laughs> but monkeys eat the banana the other way around, don't they? Yeah, they do. They do. How do monkeys eat bananas? With their toes. Oh. Is this what, a, inside of their mouth? Is this a joke? <laughs> uh, what do cows drink? No. <laughs> Toast. Water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you right there, Ben? Uh, so Travis was purchased by humans when he was just three days old by Sandra Such and Jerome. I wanted to. So Travis was purchased. <laughs> uh, even the word purchased. Travis was bought by humans when he was just three days old. <laughs> three days old. Were, were they human beings? Why did he say by humans? <laughs> I went to my old. A dra- Who else is buying? <laughs> There's them? a draft there. Really angry. Like, Why the fuck didn't we get it? <laughs> I told you to bid more. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Don't, you don't need to delete it. Just uh, don't read sorry, it. I've lost my place. I've lost my place. <laughs> so Travis was raised to be like one of the family and socialized like a much loved human, human baby. Um, the Heralds took Travis for rides in the family truck to work with them, took him on shopping trips. Travis quickly became a well-liked and popular with the residents of the town. Uh, they viewed him as a quirky pet. Um, as an infant chimp, he would often ride in the truck with a seatbelt fastened, wearing a baseball top. He would give hugs to members of the public, and he would be even be held for photos with many locals. There are loads of photos of him being held by policemen, um, playfully, initially. Um, just Blexley for him. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lovely little chimp. <laughs> Throw it in the skip. <laughs> Did you come to London on a sea biscuit? <laughs> He received a great deal of love and affection during his upbringing. Neighbour Tony Markery even used to wrestle Travis on a regular basis. He noted that the animal was always extremely careful when playing and would always know when to stop. Tony went on to say that Travis would listen better than any of his own human nephews. (laughs) Just nephews. (laughs) Travis could dress himself, water plants, feed hay to the Herald's horses, wash cars. There's a photo of him spraying a Corvette. Eat at the table with the rest of the family. Drink wine from a glass. He even used to flush the toilet. Can you give an animal alcohol? You shouldn't. Have you seen mo- you seen monkeys smoking? Haven't you? Haven't you? <laughs> Where you been, baby? <laughs> I haven't. It, uh, that's on pictures on every snooker hall in the country. It's horrible, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. P- PG Tips used to. Mm. Yeah, they were carrying the piano up the stairs, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. all sorts. PG Tips isn't a real monkey. Oh, they no, they be. were, boy. Back in the day, before Johnny Vegas got the gig. Jo- mm. Johnny Vegas. <laughs> that's quite good, wasn't it? Yeah. I think. <laughs> Monk. Monk. He could use keys to open doors. He could log onto computers and look at photos. He also used to watch baseball on the television. He also <laughs> drove a car on occasions. Wow. How does he, he reach the pedals? Um, ooh, that's a great question. Yeah. Toilet brush on one foot and... Oh. oh, they're American, so you only need one foot, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you crash it to stop every time, but... Well... Yeah, what? Well. Do Americans not have brakes? They use it automatic. Mm. Just one foot. Yeah, accelerate, brake, accelerate, brake. You just swap your feet around. Oh, I use. I I drive two foot. Yeah, well, you should. No, you shouldn't. What? They teach you to drive one foot. Oh, because you're on automatic. Yeah, I'm getting so confused. Yeah, Jack can't drive geared cars. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I drive both feet. Hmm? Scuba diving feet. Go on. Uh, He was also so smart that he learnt the local routine of ice cream vans, so that he knew when to expect his favourite snack. He loved ice cream. Most nights, even at the weight of 200 pounds, Travis would also sleep with the Heralds. Um, so on a side note for this, I did just quickly Google um, how strong chimpanzees are. Right. Um, the second most common term was how much can a chimp lift? 
Ooh. And how hard can a gorilla punch? So I don't know. Who's I'm intrigued by all of those. Yeah, um, give me both. Uh, full-grown ones are in fact 2.5 times stronger than human beings in both pulling and jumping tasks. Just all humans. What? Yeah. So if you got the if you got the biggest monkey in the world, well, this was an average. Yeah, average chimp. But a bigger monkey could probably do more. An what average more chimp. Than Eddie Hall? An average chimp yeah. was two times stronger than the average human. Mm. So maybe not Eddie, Hall. Eddie Hall's two times stronger than the average man. So it's was he? Oh, yeah. So Travis was so well behaved and capable that uh, the couple even decided to put him forward for television roles. So he's a very famous monkey from Old Navy adverts, and he was also used in Pepsi commercials. What could possibly go wrong? In September of 2000, Sandra's daughter Sue from a previous marriage passed away, and the and the uh, her husband, Jerome, also passed away from cancer. So Sandra would retreat and basically spoil uh, spoil this, this chimp as a result of that. Mm-hmm. She basically turned her grief into love and focus for Travis. During this time, he became obese, so he went up to 240 pounds. She gave him ice cream all the time. I don't think I've ever looked at a monkey and thought, that's an obese monkey. How many monkeys there's, you looked at? If you search Travis the Chimp, there's some terrifying photos of him. He looks not... Katie! <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do it until... Because you don't know the end yet. You don't know the end oh, yeah, story. I might see the end. Yeah, Let's wait for yeah, the end. Because it is, it is shocking. So this brings us to February 16th, 2009. Travis took Sandra's car keys and left the house, off on another drive. Um, an employee of the towing company and personal friend of Sandra arrived at the property, Sharla Nash. She came to uh, help Travis get back into the household. It's important to note that Sharla and Travis were very, very uh, familiar with each other. However, Sharla had recently had a drastic change to her hairstyle, and this confused Travis. In order to try and get Travis back in the house, Nash picked up Travis's most beloved toy, which was a Tiggle Me Elmo doll, and held it in front of her face. You can kind of see what's what's coming here. Knowing that a stranger had hold of his favourite toy, Travis went into an absolute rampage, and using seething rage, he charged at her from 35 feet away. He then brutally attacked her with his hands, feet, and teeth. Sharla had parts of her face and neck ripped off, including both of her eyes, her lips, mid-face bone structure, as well as her nose. He also ripped off all of her fingers from her hands, and she also sustained significant brain injury. He absolutely mauled her. Well, she survived. She survived, yeah. Yeah, there's, oh, some, before, there's some before and after pictures of, of her. She does a famous interview, doesn't she, mm. with yeah. someone... Oprah? Oprah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah reveal the face. On, yeah. Which yeah. is... Yeah. Oprah kind of dramatised that quite a bit, didn't she? Oh, well, it's pretty dramatic. Man. We'll get some photos up here. Yeah. It's quite intense, so... Fucking hell. Yeah, like, that was what she looked like after. Is she fully blind then? Yeah, so fully blind. She um, lost both her eyes. Oh. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's a good well, point. I, like, I know I used to be an optician, but <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I needed to be to tell you that one, Jack. I thought Benji said she got scraped on the eyes. Oh, Say said. the same sentence again. Her just human so Jack eyes knows. were taken out. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're not laughing at that being done. No, no, it's because no. he used the word human unnecessarily. Yeah, Charlotte had parts of her face and neck ripped off, including both of her eyes. Right. At this point, while the attack's going on, the crazy part about this case and why it became quite mainstream is that there's a 911 call that oh, happened yeah. while this... Sandra made a 911 call while Travis was attacking a friend, and you can hear it in the background. Oh, no. It's all on YouTube. It is absolutely hideous. Mm. It's one of the hardest things we've ever had to listen to. Really? Um... We won't play it. Sandra's anyway. trying to get him off her, but obviously he's a fully grown obese chimp. She tries to stab him a couple of times, still doesn't stop the attack, so she calls police. Police arrive. At this point, Travis kind of calms down and went up to the police as he recognised them, sat in the, in the police cruiser, just all happy and chilled. They shot him, uh, which is one of the controversial elements of That's this case. controversial. Well, th- there's a the p- particular police officer that decided to shoot him because he just went in and sat in the car. He's, uh, he came under quite a lot of... Um, so it's a police officer called Frank Schiaffari. Um, he fatally shot Travis four times, despite Travis going into the car to take refuge. What, well, whilst, whilst he was in the car, he yeah. shot him? Yeah, so he'd right. left the scene of the attack and sat in the car, and the police officer shot him four times. Travis then retreated back into the house and went back into his cage and died peacefully in the cage. Um, the particular pe- police officer would come under a lot of scrutiny oh, for not trying to use a more peaceful uh, He got option. shot four times and decided to just walk back into his house. Yeah. He just went yeah. down and died. I don't think he's died peacefully after being shot four times. Well, it, it's, there's an elegance to it in a way. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's ripped on his fucking face. <laughs> 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 elegant he can be. 
So Nash, Nash was immediately rushed to hospital um, with unimaginable wounds across her face and body. She underwent more than seven hours of surgery to save her face and hands by four teams of surgeons. Um, she also then, all of the surgeons that worked on her and various hospital staff had to receive counselling due to the extent of the wounds. Oh my word. Uh, they managed to reattach her jaw, but announced that Nash would be blind for life. So they, they yeah. she's blind. Yeah. Um, her injuries made her a, a possible candidate for experimental face transplant surgery. And in 2011, the surgery was completed. And that kind of took us to the uh, to the photos that we saw. She looks a lot better now than, yeah. 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 Um, Fucking hell. Wow. So what, it was because she had a different haircut. He, he, do you yeah. think it was a bit of like uncanny valley? You know about that? Oh, I've heard about this on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. It's like when something looks ever so it looks quite human, but you'll change one small element element of it, the brain can't work out what it is. Like I wonder if the if if the chimp if the chimp like recognized her, could smell it was her, but because mm. of the hair, like got a bit yeah, uncanny valley. We're we're meant to be terrified of things that like are almost human like, yeah. but you can't find out what you can't work oh, out right. in your brain why they're not there's some psychology behind it but yeah well yeah. i think is is well he's just been protective of because even have you seen the louis through louis through documentary about the animals and the one of the chimps is on that it just kind of breaks a window and starts going a bit it's gonna be very kind of um you know you're in this space you're taking this favorite thing it's just kind of uh what's the word when it's your area it's uh, been, territorial yeah, territorial yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, but she'd been plying him with ice cream and god knows what for the last two years he'd, he'd clearly like detached from his normal setting he was well that was kind of normal for him but yeah, there's a great documentary called project nim yeah. uh, which is about a chimp who was experimented a lot and kind of like then taken out and lived in homes and it's a similar kind of fate really? but it's, it's horrible but it's, it's very interesting and yeah chimps can just when you see them as pets it's just they could turn any minute yeah they shouldn't be pets end off really to their horror there on the wall of the basement was a message written in what looked like blood i'm in your room come and find me what? 